I mean, Kenny, these events have been unfolding over the last 24 hours. What do you make of them? Well, all parties are coalitions, the broad churches, they have uh, their ups and downs. We've seen it in the Conservatives. We see talent like Jeremy Hunt sitting on the back benches mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, it's the party leadership that choose. I've been in the SNP 40 years. Over those years, I've actually been expelled and then reinstated, as indeed was Alex Salmond. So all parties go through this. It'd be fair to say there's a bit of turbulence. There's no point in denying that. It's all over the papers and yeah. media in Scotland at the moment. It's, but the it's party, more than a the bit cause of, of independence. Well, it's, you know, the party and the independence movement will come through this. And you've also got to remember that the SNP is but one part. So when people, certainly south of the border, focus on the SNP and believe that this destabilises the campaign for independence, they forget that the uh, SNP is but one of the political parties that support independence mm. and that there's a far wider movement that right. is of significant strength which is why out of 20, if not 21, opinion polls have all showed independence in the lead. Right, but the hang party on. Will press us, the party will get through it. Right, but you aren't happy, are you, with what's happened to Joanna Cherry in terms of her being sacked? Why not? Well, I think it's a big mistake. I mean, I've known Joanna now for many years, both as a lawyer and indeed as a politician. Uh, she's been outstanding in both. Uh, why, when you want to have your best talent in the uh, shadow cabinet, you would not have Joanna leading, especially in an area where she has performed remarkably well, both politically in the chamber and indeed in terms of the justice issue itself, uh, it amuses me. But that is the right and entitlement of the leadership, which is, as I say, is a decision made by Keir Starmer. It's a decision sure. made by Boris Johnson. All right, but you say it's a, a massive mistake by the leadership to sack Joanna Cherry, but she has said that Westminster is increasingly irrelevant to Scotland's constitutional future and the SNP needs to radically rethink its strategy. Do you agree with that criticism of the leadership? Uh, yes, I think I've been arguing for a change in strategy for some considerable time. I'm delighted to have been elected to Westminster, but at the end of the day, Scotland and England are diverging. The, part of the countries, not just political parties, are going in different directions. So what and do you I want them to the do? Is... What is Nicola Sturgeon not doing? At the end of the day, I think we have to ensure that the decision on Scotland's future is decided by Scotland, that there can be no veto given to Boris Johnson or indeed Westminster. If the people of Scotland wish to hold a referendum or to have an election that decides their constitutional future, that is the democratic right of the Scottish people. We cannot have the absurdity where Boris Johnson says there cannot be a rerun of a Scottish referendum, not now, not for decades, or if not generations, but he's prepared to countenance a referendum on the border in, the nor in Northern Ireland every seven years. That is undemocratic, it is unfair, the people of Scotland want change, Brexit is an unmitigated disaster, yeah. and now is the time for the people of Scotland to have their own opportunity to once again become a European nation. So the leadership is being too timid? Well, I think the EU leadership is uh, failing to address taking powers back from Boris Johnson, so long as without boring uh, your listeners about a Section 30 order, yes. which is a method by which the 2014 referendum was resolved amicably between Scotland, the Scottish Government and the UK Government, and it was agreed that a referendum could progress. Uh, but if a Section 30 order is not to be given, and indeed if a Section 30 order hasn't been sought, uh, then issues arise. I happen to think that the Scottish people are in fact sovereign in this, All right. and they should have the right to decide their okay. own destiny, whether that's a referendum or utilising an election. Right. Do you think Alex Salmond has been badly treated throughout this whole process and the investigation into allegations against him? Uh, yes, uh, that's why I supported him and was delighted to see him both vindicated in the civil case and acquitted on all charges in the criminal case. I've known him for many years and considered him a friend. There's an investigation ongoing in mm. the Scottish Parliament that I think is quite correct. I do think further information is required to be made clear, but at the end of the day, Alex Salmond has been exculpated and what went wrong, uh, who may have done what, requires to be brought out into the open. Right. Would you ever consider joining forces with Alex Salmond and perhaps starting a new party? 
Uh, no, as far as I know, Alex Salmond has made no such uh, suggestion. Alex stepped back from the SNP when he had his civil case to fight. He's carried this matter on to clear his name and uh, be uh, exonerated, as he has been uh, and has been successful. He's not stepped forward back into politics. My position has been to call on those in the SNP who have been upset and considered leaving uh, mm. over events over the weekend to remain in and fight. Uh, this is, as I say, the party that I've been in for 40 years have indeed been expelled from and come back in. Right. Uh, but at the end of the day, we also have to remember that the independence movement is a broad church. It is not simply the SNP, and I've certainly called within my own party for greater hands of friendship to be put out to the wider movement, yes. not just to those who are part But you are encouraging people to stay within the SNP and fight from within for what you think should be the process towards independence. If you lose that battle, though, um, and you are ignored and sidelined, as many people would see it, because you and Joanna Cherry are probably the only SNP MPs who don't have a front bench role now, what, what will your alternative be? Well, I don't believe we'll lose. The party had a national council and national elections just there at the end of November. Uh, Joanna was returned, you know, by the barrel load, clearly, as the most uh, popular politician within yeah. the SNP. Uh, other the significant bench. changes, others, well, that's a decision made by the current leadership within yeah. the parliamentary group. But the party rank and file uh, endorsed oh. Joanna by well over 50% and clearly is the most popular politician within the SNP and indeed other significant changes took place that resulted, as I say, in a sea change, mm. not quite a sea change, but a significant change taking place within the power that right. be in the National Executive Committee. Okay. So change is underway in the SNP. Right, the sound is a little bit glitchy, but we're going to continue uh, and pursue it and hope it actually goes. Um, I, I just mentioned that um, almost every SNP MP has some sort of front bench role uh, by you and Joanna Cherry. Do you think that is because you're too close to Alex Salmond? I couldn't possibly answer that. That would be a matter for others. I have to say I've got plenty to keep on my, keep on my plate, whether with the Justice Committee, working with those organisations that I've built up a relationship both in Scotland and indeed across the UK. I was fortunate to have been Justice Secretary in Scotland for seven and a half years, and it's given me a, an awful lot of contacts. So there's work to be done, and I get on and do it. And it's for those in uh, charge of the party group in Westminster to decide how they allocate. I just happen to think that with regard to Joanna, uh, they've made a mistake. Do you think she's a future leader, Joanna Cherry? Oh, I've no doubt she's a potential future leader, absolutely. Uh, there isn't a vacancy at the present moment, but there's Joanna and there's uh, several others uh, who are equally talented and uh, exactly the same as I've served under Alex Salmond, I've served under Gordon Wilson, uh, and uh, uh, you know there will be a future leader at some stage within the SNP. All right, it's time to move on.